Hello. Thank you for joining me on this wonderful but hot summer evening, Friday in July. As you sit and listen, I will be reading Billy Boo. Please excuse the sound of the air conditioner, as it is sweltering hot, and we're just trying to stay comfortable. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the reading of Billy Boo. Running almost coast to coast, there is an old forgotten highway, Route 66. If you follow this road, you will come across a gem of a town. It sits tucked away in the wilds of Arizona, hidden from the hustle and bustle of major cities. Looking over this small town are the black mountains of the Mojave Desert. These majestic mountains not only provided the townspeople with precious minerals for generations, but they still, to this day, serve as a home to the town's most prized jewels, the wild burrows. Today, a new addition to the clan was born. He is small, fuzzy, and brown. He has black tipped ears, a streak of white on his face, and small white boots on his back legs. His mama decided to call him Billy Boots. Billy Boots was curious from his first step, but he had a hard time working up the courage to go outside and meet his neighbors. Despite being curious, he was very shy. Mama and Papa Burrow urged him to go outside and explore, but he was stubborn and he liked to sleep. Finally, his Papa had enough and gently nudged him with his hoof. Come on, Billy Boots, he said. Everyone is waiting to meet you. Papa Burrow was right. Outside their cave was a gathering of their animal neighbors. They had grown impatient as they were all very eager to meet Billy Boots. It took a few more days before Billy Boots mustered up enough courage to head outside and meet his potential new friends. As he walked toward the cave entrance, all he could focus on was the brightness of the sun. slowly stepped outside into the fresh air and immediately had to jump to the side as he saw something swooping down at him from the sky. Whoa! he exclaimed when he saw the wide-eyed, crazy creature looking at him. What are you? The wide-eyed creature just stared back at him in silence. It spooked Billy boots quite a bit, but he was fascinated by this little creature and its wispy looking fur. Excuse me, Billy Boots said once more 
as he inched closer to the weird little creature with big yellow eyes. What and who are you? What type of fur do you have? He asked as he stared in wonderment and watched the small pieces of fur blowing in the wind. The strange little creature closed his eyes and took a bow. I, the creature began, am an owl. I am an elf owl, to be precise. My name is Oscar. I do not have a fur. I have feathers. Billy Boots wanted to stay and chat. He had so many questions, but something suddenly caught his eye and he took off running. Far ahead of him was another strange animal with that wispy looking fur called feathers. Billy Boots ran as fast as he could, but the creature was too fast to catch. You'll never catch me, yelled the creature as he zipped quickly along the ground. I am a road runner. I am the fastest in the West. Billy Boots quickly gave up on chasing the Roadrunner as he spotted a few more feathered creatures on the ground. These ones were round, plump, and had a large feather sticking out of their forehead. How strange, Billy Boots said to himself. Billy Boots got down to the ground, low as he could get, so he could get a better look at the creatures. What are you? he asked. We are quails, said the one colorful creature. We are another type of bird. Here come our chicks. Billy Boots looked off to the side and saw three more quails coming from behind a gathering of tall trees. Billy Boots chuckled because he thought the little quail babies were rather cute. Billy Boots looked over to Papa Burrow who had now caught up to him. Are there other creatures around here besides birds? Billy Boots asked. Oh yes, said Papa Burrow. There are many more. He Billy Boots and Oscar continued on together so Billy Boots could meet all the other creatures that shared the desert with him. Papa Burrow nodded toward the field. Over there, hopping in the high into the air, is a jackrabbit. They have long ears, can run very fast, and jump really high. Papa Burrow explained. They continued on their walk and came across two small sandy brown creatures standing on a rock on their hind legs. Billy Boots heard the one whisper to the other. If we don't move, maybe he won't see us. She laughed. Papa Burrow explained these little creatures were prairie dogs and they live under the ground in small tunnels they dig themselves. All our neighbors seem pretty friendly, Billy Boots said. Are there any bad ones? I wouldn't say they are bad ones necessarily, Papa Burrow explained. However, there are some that you should avoid, like the coyote over there, hiding in the bushes. Billy Boots looked over and saw a large furry coyote hiding in the bushes, watching their every move. Coyotes will not try to harm us, 
Papa Burrow said. We are too big for them, and we have powerful legs. However, they will go after our smaller friends, like the jackrabbit we just got a glimpse of. Tell him about the rattlesnakes, Oscar yelled from above. Oh yes, the rattlesnakes, Papa Burrow exclaimed. The rattlesnakes are very dangerous, and they will bite anything that invades their space if threatened. Papa Burrow warns. You can recognize a rattlesnake by the diamond-like design on their back, and most notably, the rattling sound when they shake their tail. That is your warning to back away slowly. Billy Boots chuckled and came to an abrupt halt. He then started to prance around proudly. I'm not afraid of anything now, Billy Boots boasted. Rattlesnake or coyote, I can handle them all. While I'm at it, I bet I could even catch that roadrunner. Much to his surprise, the roadrunner was lurking nearby and accepted the challenge. Okay. The Roadrunner shouted, see if you can catch me this time. Billy Boots perked up his ears and took off running down the trail after his newly friendly rival. He was determined to catch that Roadrunner. What a great first impression he would make on anyone watching if he was able to catch the fastest being in the West. Oscar and Papa Burrow watched and laughed as Billy Boots tried with all his might to catch that fast little bird. Well, Oscar, Papa Burrow said, I have a feeling I'm going to need your help watching this little guy. He is a wild one, Oscar said. I have no doubt in my mind he will find himself in many great adventures, and you can count on me to be there. 